When you create a new dashboard in Enterprise, your new dashboard will have some auto-populated widgets and sections which you may or may not use for your specific projects. To remove a widget from your dashboard, select the More Options icon from the upper right of your dashboard. Then select Edit. While in edit mode, select the More Options icon from within the widget you would like to remove. Select Remove, and it will ask you if you are sure you would like to remove the widget. Then select Yes. Repeat these steps for any widget you would like to remove from your dashboard. In this case, I would like to keep the Map and Traffic Light Map widgets for my dashboard, but I would like to delete the top section that is now empty. In order to delete a section, select the Delete Section icon from the right of the section title. It will ask if you are sure you would like to delete this section. Select Yes. I now would like to add a new section below the Map and Traffic Light Map widgets. Select Add Section. Name your section accordingly. and select Save. I would now like to add some new widgets to my new section. To add a new widget, select the Add Widget icon, and then select from the menu of widgets that are available to add to your dashboard. I now would like to add a column to my new section. Select the Add New Column icon. Whoops, I've added a column that I did not intend to. In order to remove a column, select the Remove Column icon. You may now add your new widget. Now that I have added widgets, I would like to reorder my sections on my dashboard. In order to reorder your sections, select the Reorder Sections icon from the right of the section title. This will populate your Reorder Sections menu. You may now drag and drop sections within your dashboard in the order in which you intend them. This will happen in real time behind the Reorder Sections menu. Once you are satisfied with the order of your sections, select Save. In order to change the theme of your dashboard, Select the Dashboard Theme icon in the upper left of your dashboard. From there, you can select a different color for your dashboard. Once you are satisfied with all the edits you have made to your new dashboard, select Save from the upper right of your new dashboard. You have now successfully configured your new dashboard.